2018, they had a CEO who had to step down. I don't have all the details, but he had a relationship with somebody who was working at Intel. It came to light and uh, the board asked for his resignation, which of course, that's how that ends. So um, please, if, if you're running a publicly traded company, try to control yourself <laughs> around your employees. Keep it in your pants. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's 2018. And what comes out of that is a succession of bad leadership slash bad decision making. Intel decides in that moment of succession, they have the, a, a new incoming CEO and they decide w what they're going to do is they're going to go full bore into the foundry business. They have this manufacturing advantage. They're one of the highest throughput manufacturers of chips in the world, and they're better at it than other American chip companies. And they look at the success of Taiwan Semi, which has effectively become like the outsourced manufacturer to all of the chip design companies all over the world. And Intel says, we could do that too. And that's going to be a big part of the future of our business. And that was a horrible, in hindsight, strategic decision. I think Wall Street hated it in real time. And keep in mind, this is during a time, the rise of NVIDIA, but it's pre-AI. It's 2018, 2019.